Today, we're going to learn about probability versus likelihood. So what is probability? Well, probability means exactly what you think it means. It is the long run frequency of how often something occurs. Probability is the word we are most accustomed to. Probability exists in one universe. What I mean by this is when we talk about pro the probability of an event, we talk about it in relation to other events that may occur in the same universe. This means that probabilities are related in an important way. They must add up to one. Something must happen. So, for example, if I flip one coin, a fair coin that lands 50% heads and 50% tails, the probability of heads is 0 0.5 and the probability of tails is 0 0.5. These two numbers add up to one because they exist in the same universe. And one of the two things must happen. Probabilities must add up to one. So by the same universe, I mean the universe in which we have a fair coin. If a coin is fair, the coin must be heads or tails. The probabilities must add up to one. We can discuss probabilities when we understand which universe we are in. In probability, we know the parameters which exactly describe the situation and how often things occur. But in statistics, we often do not know which universe we are in. We only observe data, but we don't understand the process that created the data. So when we talk about a coin flip, suppose we flip a coin with an unknown probability of heads, and I observe heads. I can't say that the probability of heads is 0 0.5 because I don't know what type of coin this is. If the coin is fair, then the probability would be 0 0.5, like we see over here. But if the coin is not fair, then the probability could be 0 0.7, or it could be 0 0.9, or any other number. It could be 0 0.1 probability of heads. I do not know which universe I'm in, so I do not know the probability of heads. I just know that I saw heads. I observe heads. I don't know what the probability of heads is. But I can talk about what the probability of heads would be with different types of coins. All of the numbers below are probabilities in a sense, but they exist in different universes and don't add up to one, so we don't use them in the same way that we use probabilities. They are likelihoods of our observed data under different scenarios. Likelihoods in some scenarios are the exact same numbers as probabilities. Calling them a likelihood comes from the context that we're using them in. Probabilities add up to one because we're considering things in one universe, i.e. for a single value of a parameter, something must happen in probability world. But likelihoods are a probability of the observed data under a hypothetical scenario. Since there are many different hypothetical scenarios, and in statistics, we don't know which one. There are many likelihoods that do not add up to one and thus cannot be interpreted as probabilities. Uh, let's look at another example. This time we're flipping two coins. Suppose we have a fair coin. Then I can talk about the probability of zero heads being one fourth, the probability of one head being one half, and the probability of two heads being one fourth. These are probabilities. These numbers add up to one. And in the universe where we have a fair coin that we flip twice, one of these three things will happen, which is why the probabilities add up to one. But if I had another coin, if the coin is heads 90% of the time, that probability of zero heads is 0.01. The probability of one head is 0.18, and the probability of two heads is 0.81. In the universe where we have an unfair coin that we flip twice, one of these three things will happen. So the probabilities add up to one. But let's flip the situation around. Suppose we just observe two heads. Now we know if it was a fair coin, the likelihood of two heads is 25%. But if it's a 90% heads coin, the likelihood of two heads is 0.81. If it's a coin that lands on heads 10% of the time, the likelihood of two heads is only 1%. These numbers don't add up to one because they occur in different universes. It doesn't make sense in this context to talk about them as real probabilities. They are one of many possible probabilities of what we observed. Again, these numbers do not add up to one. So in summary, in the context of these discrete probability distributions, where we're talking about coin flips, probability and likelihood are really the same thing, but from different perspectives. Probability means we know which universe we're in, and the probabilities all add up to one, whereas likelihood, we know what we observed, and we consider the probability of what we observed in any possible universe. But what about continuous distributions, like a normal distribution? In a normal distribution, the probability is represented by the area under the curve of a density function. So the normal bell curve with standard deviation 1 is described by this density function. Now, this function does not tell us probabilities. Uh, they are used to compute probabilities. We integrate the function and find the area under the curve to compute a probability. 
So here we have the density of a normal distribution at one. And this number is not a probability. And it's also not a likelihood in this context either. It is a probability density. It's related to probability and it's used to compute probabilities. Uh, here, the value zero uh, has a higher likelihood of 0.39. Now, both zero and one occur with probability zero because it's a continuous distribution, but values near zero are still more likely to occur than values near one. Now, suppose we observe data instead. We observe x equals one, but we don't know what universe we're in. Well, what is the probability that x equals one? Now, that's not even a meaningful question for a normal distribution because every outcome has probability zero. Well, what is the density at x equals one? Again, this depends on what universe we're in and which normal distribution we have. So for a continuous distribution, the relevant question is not what is a likelihood versus a probability, rather it is a density versus a likelihood. So here we see that we observe our data point x equals one, and we say, what is the density at that point? Well, I don't know because it depends what universe we're in. For the green distribution, the likelihood is very high. For the red and black distributions, the, uh, the likelihood is in the middle. And for the blue distribution, the likelihood is very low. So this same function, this density function, can be viewed in two ways. It is a probability density function if we view it as a function of x, where mu is known. So if we know the parameter and we know which universe we're in, then it is a density function. But if we fix x, if we observe our data and view it as a function of mu, the unknown parameter, then we call it a likelihood function. We, we can see this illustrated by talking about the idea of maximizing the probability versus maximizing the likelihood. So a major use of likelihood functions is maximum likelihood estimation. And this can help us understand the difference between the two. So here is an illustration of probability. What is the maximum probability? Well, the most likely outcome with a fair coin is one head. However, likelihood takes place in any universe. So if we observe our data, we observe two heads, well, we have different likelihoods depending on which universe we chose. So we're going to choose the universe in which our data was most likely, where the probability of heads was very high. That's the end. Uh, please like and subscribe for more statistics content.